What will 2015 look like? Welcome to the Industry Leader Update brought to you by Reverse Focus. My best predictions are always for the past, one said, and I couldn't agree more. I am hesitant when it comes to making predictions, but here are a few that we will venture to make for 2015. One, the big rush. Just as there was an onslaught of new applications in the past prior to principal limit reductions, we will most likely see a significant spike in HECM applications in January and February due to the soon coming financial assessment. Number two, longer HECM counseling times. As applications and FHA case numbers spike, expect to see some slowdowns in counseling times as HECM agencies try to handle the rush with their existing caseload. Number three, mid-year interest rate increases. The Federal Reserve's Federal Open Market Committee, or FOMC, met recently and signaled in their minutes that they may begin, quote, the normalization process for interest rates, but not before April. Now, although the HECM's rates are based on the LIBOR, or the London Interbank Offered Rate, U.S. interest rates will have an effect on this international index, and thus HECM proceeds. Look for moderate rate increases. Number four, further lender consolidation. Have we seen the last of lender exits from the reverse mortgage industry? Not likely. Look for medium and, yes, some large lenders to consolidate the cost of their HECM footprint this year with increased regulations and the financial assessment. Number five, more financial community input and adoption of the HECM. Although financial planners only began doing case studies of reverse mortgages a few short years ago, do not think that the innovation has stopped there. Key financial planning groups and individuals will most likely release new studies, further expanding the potential role of a HECM in sound retirement planning. Number six, dual-pronged marketing. Look for lenders who relied heavily on television to further expand their retail or boots-on-the-ground sales force. While television ads do remain effective, look for more key players to build on the bifurcated marketing plan that embraces both remote and face-to-face -face sales. Number seven, more guidance on the non-borrowing spouse policy. While HUD's new MBS policy does help protect younger spouses, it also raises several questions amongst lenders and originators alike. Look for a mortgagee letter clarifying some of the finer points of vesting, transfer of title, and more. And number eight, another jumbo reverse? I know we've patiently waited for jumbo loans and today only one is offered. Look for one more offering this year. There you have it, our predictions, or our best guesses for 2015. Now what predictions would you add for this year? Leave your inputs in the comment section below and have a great week.